We know there was a time when Fremont ISD was in serious danger of being shut down due to poor performance. In fact, it was back around 2012. Yeah, if you'll remember, the district was able to get back on its feet right. with the help of Texas A&M Kingsville, but well, now that partnership is ending. So where does the district go from here? For that, we go to Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez, who was there at the campus in Kingsville. Good morning, Roland. Hey, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. The good people in Fremont, they're excited because they know that the future is really bright for their school district, thanks to that unprecedented partnership they had with Texas A&M Kingsville. In the summer of 2011, the Texas Education Agency announced plans to close the Fremont School District due to low academic scores, poor attendance, and aging facilities. There is no doubt in my mind that Fremont ISD would have been closed back in 2013 if it wasn't for Texas A&M Kingsville. This community will forever be indebted to that institution. The school district did make some headway in addressing the issues outlined by the TEA, but it could not have survived without the unique partnership with Texas A&M University Kingsville. And as a result of, of the, the grantmanship that we did, uh, Premont ended up getting about $8.5 million in grants from the Texas Education Agency to help them with a the curriculum and student activities. And as a result of that, you know, it was a partnership that that, that got national attention. Texas A&M Kingsville's aid in fundraising and education enrichment programs like Early College High School allowed Premont High School freshmen to take classes at the university and it made a big difference. We have the foundation in place to be a flagship district of South Texas and that's certainly what we want to be. They, they needed help. We provided the help. We provided the, the, the strategies that were needed in the classroom and I think the future looks bright for Premont. With this partnership, the Premont School District was able to meet state academic standards in 2016 for the first time in five years. As a result, district officials announced the high school will play varsity football again this fall for the first time since 2011. Oh, sounds like exciting times coming up for Piedmont ISD. Oh, let me tell you that Texas A&M Kingsville officials told me that despite ending their five-year long relationship with Piedmont ISD, their doors will be always open for them in the future. 